Hello everyone, welcome back to Arrakis for possibly the last episode of Let's Play Dune, the 1992 video game adaptation, the 1965 novel and 1984 film. This is the Amiga version. So we're on our 111th day, I thought we were on our 112th day, well close enough. Um, and we have control of 51% of the planet compared to the Harkons 4%. Spice production for the Harkonnens is zero. Um, ours is down to 180. Uh, we have 62,000 men. The Harkonnens have a flat 100. I suspect that's as many people as is in Arakeen, the remaining fortress of theirs on the planet. And we're getting ready to launch a final attack under uh, Thupa Howard's instruction. So let me remind myself. We're in the palace, aren't we? Duncan... Does Duncan want to come? Come on, Duncan, this is it. We're gonna... This is victory. I can't know, I have some work left here. Oh, Duncan, but I'm gonna... I'm gonna take over the planet in, in like a minute. Can... You sure you don't wanna... Oh, okay, alright. So we're, Duncan's not gonna come with us on this journey. But... We can head to... Oh, it's now the 112th day. Um, we were just on the cusp, weren't we? So we've got lots of soldiers around here. Um, getting ready. Let's... Uh... So anybody who's not going to be... Okay, Halleck is here. Stilgar is here. Chani is here. Are you going to tell me about anybody else? <laughs> My troop is settled in Arakeen Juek. We've been doing irradiation in Tweak Air. But the job is finished. That's fab, because um, I'm going to get you to move to another locale for a minute, thank you. Um, and I guess we'll save these three locations for the troops we're going to have to amass. We've been told we need a total of 10,000 troops, uh, sorry, 10,000 soldiers in however many troops that were, that is necessary. And um, each needs to be equipped with atomics. So. Let's see, do you have atomics? So we kind of want, you do, and you have 1,930 men. Well, you can stay where you are then. And I'm gonna um, start writing down numbers uh, for a bit of rough, uh, rough arithmetic. That was hard to say. Um, lovely. So you've got, oh yeah, you can definitely stay there. So that's 2,110, so. Yeah, between them they're doing very well. Yeah, 4,000. So, you folks. Um, you've got 1,960. That's almost 2,000 as well, that's really helpful. Um, 1,170, that's okay. 300, not so helpful, so let's Let's pop you to somewhere um, out of the range of fighting for now. Cool, you're on your way. Um, we've got you, friend. You've got, well, oh, you've got the whole kit and caboodle, really. You can start planting as well. Oh yes, you've been with us a long time, haven't you? You've still got 1,450 men, that's, um, that's really good. Actually, after so many battles, that's very good. So, there we go, I'm going to pause the game and tot some of this up. Okay, folks, so I make it that we've got, with the um, troops that are present, we have 9,940 men. Um, so we're gonna need we're gonna need another one with uh, with some atomics. Um, let me try and remind myself where the atomics are. Um, oh, there's this group here. Oh, fab! You so you can go to uh, to this one as well. There you go.
okay when they're there that should meet um gurney's requirements let's have a final look at our spice density uh completely mined out friends there's barely a scrap a spice in the place. Um, let's have a look at our ecology. Got some some going on there. Some going on there. We've got some up going up north as well. Yeah, that's good. And um, yeah, what was going on there? And we'll have a look at this globe as it turns to see how green it's looking. Like quite a few patches now, which is lovely. I wonder how green it can get. I mean, part of me is tempted to spend the rest of our 255 days or whatever we've got to uh, just see how green we can get the planet, but uh, that might be a bit much for a let's play. So we're going to go straight for the ending, hopefully, uh, right now, and maybe that's something we could have as an extra. So I think if I go this way, it spins, yeah, it's more in that direction. Yeah, around the, the swirl there, we've got quite a, quite a bit of green, and that's nice. Yeah, look at that. Okay, so oh, I think everybody got to where they were going, didn't they? And we did we even leave the palace? We didn't. We we're just on the uh, the entrance there. Well, let's get our worm then and head over to Arakin Chuek and talk to Thufa, I think. First of all, let's make sure we load, load that uh, worm animation into our memory, and then I think we'll be well away. Okay. I think I might let this journey play out. It would be nice. I think we're going to pass through some of the areas of greenery, so we might get to see the landscape change slightly. Game does feel very different now. The uh, the time pressure is off, um, very much as it was in the start of the game, where it was more about um, exploration and interacting with the characters than um, than being uh, strictly concerned about um, resource management. Um, and now this feels like this is kind of the reward for having having got to that point. Is that we have the luxury of uh, of time to plan our final move and it also um, adds a certain dramatic uh, weight to it it's kind of the uh, I mean really there's there were two two halves of the game ah it's the greenery yes I love seeing these trees as we go past that's I mean I'm I'm very impressed that the game world is sophisticated enough to be able to map out where you are and show the landscape um, in its, its current state at this point in time. I like that. Anyway, I was saying, yeah, the game's kind of in, in two halves, I think, looking back on it now. It seems like the um, the first half is very much um, kind of like miniature quests and adventure game style stuff. Not, not very much in the way of puzzles, I would say. Um, but it's more along those lines, um, more like a visual novel as well, I suppose. Um, but then under the undercurrent beneath that is that the um, all the different uh, levers of the uh, the strategy section are being being pulled, uh, sometimes uh, outside, um, sometimes a bit more obviously, um, until you end up in the place where you sort of full speed into the, the strategy section 
um, and that has quite a lot of momentum so that it feels like it offers dramatic drive in the sense that you are then fixed on a goal that you have to get to within a time limit um, and that adds um, quite a lot of urgency to that that second act of the game and then um, this is kind of the the respite before oh it's the edge there nice this is kind of the respite before the the final scene i, I suppose um let's go and visit everyone bar duncan Everybody, Charlie, you don't have to stand up in the corner. I understand that the final attack is imminent. Okay, Fremen? Most people sit down with King Trek. We've been doing military training for a few hours. 2130 men, motivation 100%, expert in army. Gurney Halleck is a very qualified instructor. Training is much more efficient with him. Everybody says that about Gurney. Everybody, I mean. I think we should talk to everybody as we go, shouldn't we? So, Jessica is also present. I think you have the situation under control. Thanks, Mum. Um, we'll leave Super for last, Gurney. I understand that the final attack is imminent. I'm teaching the Fremen my art of combat. They're learning quickly. Thanks, Gurney. Uh, still go? Do you want to launch the attack now? Oh, uh. That's a bit much. I'm going to refuse it right now. As you want, my dear. There's just my new equipment here. Helpful as ever. Um, so what does Thufa have to say about the situation? We have enough men around the palace to attack it. You and Stilgar should launch the attack now. Okay. So... Yeah, so it's not a... Interesting. So it's not a case of getting people to do it manually no it's not is it interesting I mean did you have any more to say that too far okay um, well I guess that's what we do then isn't it we say uh, where oh hello I've ended up with the water uh, I didn't mean to click on that. I meant to click on this to find Stilgar's name. There we go. Okay, what happens if I argue? As you want, Mark Dib. Okay, there's, there's very little difference. It's just a yes or no, isn't it? But they're offering the same three dialogue options that they have for um, all the other situations. And they worked quite well in this, it must be said. So, I would say... Um... I need to talk to Stilgar again, and this time I'm going to accept. Good, the troops are now converging on the palace. We just wait until our troops put this shield down with the atomics. This, oh, okay, thanks, thanks, Stilgar. So, oh, hello. Shield is down, the Harkonnen troops here have surrendered. Wow, that, that was quick. Is it good? Okay, well I guess then we... I guess we go there, right? Who's going to come with me? So I can take two. Um, I feel like I should probably have Charney with me. Now that the shield is down, we can approach the palace. Um, come with me. Yes, Paul. I want to follow you now and always. Still, Gar? Come with me. That shows us down, we can go to the Harkin Palace. There are no front troops here. Come with me. Someone's been at one time. There's some... Oh, always on the equipment. Okay. Well, I guess we go there on a worm, right? Well, this is a short distance. I'll let this one play out as well. I guess just like approaching our palace, we'll see we'll see the actual image of this palace of Arakeen approach in the distance. 
I'll draw near to it. Well, we went past the turret there. Interesting. Oh, oh, okay. That's an impressive edifice. Okay. Same, same deal. Okay, Johnny, well, let's go in. Oh, heck, everybody's here. The whole gang. Look, Paul, the Emperor's here. Oh, of course he would be. Emperor, Shadam the Four. How dare you treat us like that? What? I sent you spikes. I'll banish your family. You, Emperor Shadam. Ah, uh, Duncan! You, Emperor Shadam, are a liar. You will never again rule as the Emperor. Well, now you're pitching in, Duncan. You had a Machiavellian plan, Shadam the Fourth. You sent us to Dune, hoping that the Harkonnens would crush us. I, uh, uh... But Paul has upset your plan by rallying all of the Fremen against you. Okay. You, Baron Harkonnen, have mistreated our people with so much cruelty. These Fremen, they're just a bunch of... Paul is the one that the friend I'm waiting for. The legend comes true. Don't make me laugh. He's just a wimp. Oh, good eyebrow animation there. You'd better not say that if you're a new emperor. What? You shouldn't expect to remain as an emperor after this. You three are going to be exiled on the prison planet. There's a prison planet? Long live... Long life to the Emperor Paul, the Trades, and Charney, his Empress. Whoa, that's you marry me off pretty quick there, Mum. Okay. Well, th this very much seems like it's the end, doesn't it? Oh, okay, and we we get a we get a big Trades hawk. The end. Well, that's interesting with in order of appearance oh wow is this going to be a a credit sequence where we have to keep swapping the discs that's that's definitely the way to um yeah paul atreides duke leto atreides dearly missed jessica atreides I guess we get to see them in their favourite rooms. Gurney Halleck. Duncan Idaho. Yep, it's disc three. Okay. Credit sequence was too large to be encompassed by, by just one floppy disc. Chadan the fourth. Hurrah! Oh, I'm glad you're here too. Thufa Howard. Still there. Back to this one. Baron Harkonnen. Back to disc three. Fade Ralta Charney Liet Keynes Oh, and then we get the the credit score from the opening bit as well. Wow. I must say, I'm a little underwhelmed given the build up that the Baron Harkonnen and Fade Rautha were given. Um, and given the voracious overacting that Fade Rautha was doing, um, even as uh, a 2D animation from the shoulders up um, with some all caps text, I. Um, 
I'm disappointed that there wasn't more of a oh c- coming soon June 2 that's that's a bit of a crass note to end on oh my okay well, well I have a feeling that if I uh, if I click away from here we'll, we'll <laughs> crash the workbench so I'll leave I'll leave uh, Chani and Paul uh, following us around the room with their eyes um, the uh, the <laughs> A trainee's hawk ominously poised above their heads. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little disappointed that there there wasn't something more at the end. And also, I think it would have been a less disappoint, disappointed if the quality of the writing hadn't dipped down again. It was kind of the a, a reminder of the uh, kind of some of the stuff we got at the beginning of the game, like uh, "I am your father" uh, speech from Duke Leto in the um, the very first room. Yeah, that the, that was a little quality tip there. But overall, I have had a marvellous time playing Dune. I've been really fascinated by how it's approached the subject material as an annotation, and by how it's played into and out of different genres of gameplay as well, as, as part of that process. I, I think... Um, more than a lot of adaptations of other material, especially literary material in video games. I think this has engaged with ideas in the material a lot better and managed to carry them through as as cause to um, the narrative it's telling and the, the gameplay it's um, presenting as well. Um, I think that's that's an interesting feature of, of what it's doing here. It's kind of uh, using the the characters to push you around in a gameplay sense, but that also deepens your appreciation of the planet. It, I do feel very much that in Dune, I got a sense of the the world as one whole thing and a place I could relate to because I travelled across it so much. And I began began to learn how different parts interconnected, what regions abutted other regions, and then. Although, for the technical limitations of the time, and because in the story it's a, it's a completely desert planet, um, although it's quite similar, it looks quite similar all over, the fact that it you can influence it, that it starts to change geography, really gives a sense of it being a place, a place that you've been to, um, a place that you've travelled in. Um, I think that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. I can't really help but compare this to Dune 2, which um, somewhat, somewhat crassly here, has been advertised as coming soon, um, given that it was essentially a parallel project uh, by a different team working with no knowledge of this one. But the two, the two have both gone for a strategy game. Essentially, I'd argue that this this Dune game is at its core a strategy game. That's the majority of the, the gameplay that you get into. But what's so interesting is that because it's so interested in the narrative, although it's developed, uh, delivering it in quite a light way, it goes to pains to develop the narrative threads first and then lead them into the gameplay in, um, in quite a sophisticated way. And it's not something that many strategy games do bother to do because they want to badge themselves. Now, uh, real-time strategy is a genre, which uh, at the time of Dune, it, it wasn't. Um, and it was only kind of in the wake of Dune 2 that, that that was a thing. So because that genre wasn't really a genre, this didn't have to badge itself as that. And it, it could be more than one thing. And it could slowly uh, reveal its mechanics and ideas to you. And I certainly appreciated going in without knowledge of exactly how it would work, how strategy focused that second portion would be. Because I think if I'd known exactly what the criteria were for success, if I was working towards them from the outset, I I probably would have got there on the first try. But I don't think I would have had as much fun exploring the different character elements, finding little hidden corners that were... Um, exciting and surprising. Um, I don't think I would have lingered on the story or 
played it in a in more of a role playing sense, um, where I'd stop and talk to people um, and revisit people, um, which I think the ability to do that I think makes this a richer a richer game altogether than say something uh, like Dune Two, which is essentially taking the the broadest idea of the setting and using that to deliver a really good prototype i suppose or possibly even an archetype before a style of gameplay um, but this is something a bit more a bit more integrated with its ideas um with its characters and something that is pushing ideas from outside its gameplay with its gameplay that's what i'd say about it and i think it's a shame that for cryo and for games in general, this didn't lead to further developments of its style of gameplay the way that Dune 2 did. I would very much like to have seen if, so if, if for example, in a hypothetical, if Dune 2 had not existed, if this had been Virgin's only Dune game and it was a success as it as it was at the time, um, and they'd gone on to Cry had gone on to make another Dune game. I, I think that could have worked because there's quite a lot of material in further books, and I would have been kind of interested in how wacky they could have gone. Especially if this get the success of this game had allowed Virgin the confidence to let Cryo do things on their own. I wonder how wacky they could have gone with um, some of the uh, the stuff with. Paul's son, uh, Leto, becoming God Emperor of Dune. That could have been interesting because uh, that Leto has quite a grand plan for the universe, which pushes certain philosophies. Um, it's, <laughs> yeah, um, and would, would have been a really interesting thing to engage with. I can only um, imagine and speculate what, what could have been done with this this kind of structure um, and a greater scope um, and scale, I think that could have been a really interesting, really interesting game. But I I'm really glad to have played this one through to its conclusion. I think it's um, it's certainly been one of the more interesting uh, games I've played, and certainly one of the most interesting I've discovered um, through let's playing as well. So very, very happy to have played it. So a couple of little extra bits I do know about, or I've read about anyway, um, and suspect to be true. Uh, we could have got to the, we could have got to the point of taking the Harkland Palace had we grown vegetation up there to the extent that they would have tried to leave. I believe that would have just triggered uh, Thufa's plan um, earlier or without having taken additional bases. I think it's probably quite difficult to get there because I think you probably need to at least a force able to take the, the base just below um, Arakeen, which is one of the toughest ones on the map. So I think that's difficult to do without having mostly conquered the planet by military means anyway. And apparently there is a chance that you can um, not trigger the story end, the cutscene at the, the end of the game, but you can instead conquer Arakeen, let it be transformed into a CH, um, and then keep playing the game indefinitely, um, which is a fascinating idea. I don't know how easy that would be to achieve, because apparently you have to set the attack off and then arrive at the palace before the attack has finished. Uh, launch a massive attack to finish the battle and once you've done that wait two days for without entering the palace for it to be transformed into a siege then you can enter it and apparently the emperor fade ralpha and baron harkin are prisoners inside um, you can talk to them and uh and then you can keep pootling around the planet um which seems like quite a nice a nice chill thing to do afterwards um, again, that's one of these things that I'm not quite sure if that's a bug or whether that's an intended, an intended thing to discover. Um, because it, 
it changes the, the narrative fabric a little bit and is interesting. So, I mean, it kind of doesn't matter either way whether it's intentional or not because it, it makes the game that little bit richer. But I will I will endeavour to do that. I don't know how easy it be because the battle was over in a second, so um, it might be tricky. But I will try, and if I can do it, I'll record that and, um, and perhaps... Uh, spend a bit of time cultivating the land and show you the results of that uh, but you could cruise around discover hidden sketches and things It'd be pretty cool uh, so if there's a follow-up to vi this video uh, that's what it will be and until next time probably another game take care bye bye <laughs>